Pete, we'll stick with you. Thanks so much. The storm caused several widespread damages with heavy snow weighing down on trees and power lines. Thousands still without power this morning. Here's the latest numbers at this hour. According to the National Grid, more than 15,000 customers still in the dark right now. Some places not expected to get it back until tonight. Meanwhile, our cameras were recording when part of a tree fell under the weight of that heavy snow. This was in Burrowville. Part of a tree also fell on a home there. Also, new video this morning showing a huge tree blocking South Road in East Greenwich just after midnight. Our pinpoint weather team coverage continues for you this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan has our report from West Greenwich. National Grid reports there are still thousands of customers without power, and the major problem with this storm was that wet, heavy snow that stuck to trees and power lines, bringing them down. The snow finally stopped falling, but it's definitely sticking around. Trees and power lines are coated with heavy, wet snow, causing limbs to snap, power lines to fall, and ultimately forcing residents to go out for dinner because they're without electricity. Tried to hook up the generator. It's not powering too much in the house at the moment, so we were hungry and came out. Many had the same idea. An hour wait, you don't mind it? No, not tonight. Tonight would be fine. I don't mind. How come? Just hungry. Dan's place in West Greenwich had its generator going and was busy serving meals all night. Meanwhile, some customers say they weren't worried about their food at home. I don't do a lot of cooking, so there's not a lot of stuff in the fridge to be concerned about. But National Grid's concern all day Friday was restoring power to residents. National Grid spokesperson David Graves tells Eyewitness News there are about 70 crews working throughout Rhode Island. In addition, there are about 30 crews to assist with downed branches. National Grid was able to restore power to a lot of customers, but not everyone. Kept checking National Grid and it doesn't look like we're going to get it back till about 2 tomorrow afternoon. So. so what's the plan now? The plan now is to go home, get the dog, a few things, go up to the Crown Plaza and stay there tonight and see what happens tomorrow. People who live in this area tell me that they're used to losing power during major storms, but they say with these cold temperatures overnight, they hope that they get their power restored sooner rather than later. Reporting in West Greenwich with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.